Me and my anxiety have been fighting for more than nine years. Most of the time it wins and brings me to tears. It controls my life and I don't get a say because everything always goes its way. I'm stuck in trying to find my way out, but I still can't figure out the layout. No matter how loud I scream, no one will hear me and I can't find the key to set me free. I hold back tears because if I start crying, I won't stop. My anxiety has taken over is, and is on top. Instead of doing normal teen things, my anxiety leaves me in bed with my thoughts, which makes my body go into knots. Because of my anxiety, I let people down and it causes me to be alone with no one around. What you just heard was an excerpt from Gianna Carr's collection of poetry. Her voyage into verses is not a talent many expect. It's like you do not seem like the type of person, like a basketball player, like a jock, like <laughs> writing poetry. The first time I think she ever showed me poetry was just like a joke. Carr may introduce the subject for laughs, but her writing offers a coping mechanism for her lifelong struggle with anxiety. In elementary school, it was probably the hardest time for me. There's just so much going on and I, my head's just like all over the place, so that just caused me to have anxiety because I don't really know what's like going on around me. Large crowds can be problematic for Carr, which led her to enroll at a small private school her freshman year. A fateful interaction at that school sparked her inner scribe. It started when me and my friend, people would mix us up and they would call me by her name and vice versa. And so that's when we, were, we looked nothing alike. A lot of my poetry is either about myself or maybe something that my friends went through or just literally anybody and like, like their struggles. Throughout the, our whole relationship, she's like opened up and shared more of her poetry with me. And it's, it's like eye-opening because I had never met someone who's like that good of a writer. Carr moved back to Stillwater as a sophomore and became eligible to play varsity this year. She has a deep history with basketball, and that connection puts all of her concerns at ease. When I go on the court, it's just everything like goes away, and it's just me, my teammates, and the basketball. She always gets to the ball like really quick. She's always on her toes. No one really gets by her. For the ponies, Carr is a defensive asset. For those navigating the tricky terrain of mental health, Carr's versification drops a line of encouragement. I'm fighting this battle that no one can see and all I want to do is flee. There is no me, but there is a we because my anxiety has become a part of me. My anxiety decides what I do, so if I make plans, they'll most likely fall through. Only if you knew what I was going through, you would feel this way too. If anyone feels the same way, just know that you're not alone and one day you'll be strong enough to push it away.